Hey guys, this is Tony with Inner Geek Designs. Today I'm back with another graphic design video, sort of. Uh, it's Sunday and it's kind of weird for me to post a video on Sunday, but <clears throat> I want to try to do something different today. I want to try a logo design critique of logo I found for an event that I'm not 100% sure I'm behind yet, but we're going to do a logo critique on the Gamer's Choice Awards. It's going to be a good one. So, if you're new and you want to get subscribed, do that. Graphic design videos come out Mondays. This might become a recurring segment on the channel or not with logo design critiques, but let's jump into this one. This one is uh, it's for an award show that's going on tonight. Um, it's the first one of this show. There's been other video game shows throughout the years. The big one that everyone thinks about is the video game awards. Um, so this one's a little bit different. Um, it It's not bad, but there's a lot of small things that have added up to make this a questionable logo. Um, and I don't know who it's supposed to be hitting towards. It's, it's a shield logo, which are always, they're decent, they're okay, they're not bad, uh, but they're not the best logos. And there's some small things that have, you know, there, there's small things that are just too small that I wonder if it transfers to a smaller size, if it'll transfer right. Um, and this is kind of something to think about for an award logo, because because you know, you might have it on cups, you might have it on giveaways, you might have it on bags, uh, pins, stickers, you might have it on different stuff just to promote the event more. Um, also, this, this banner that's on the bottom, I don't like how it's tucking in under the first part of the shield and not the back of the shield. It should wrap a wall all around it, but it's not doing that and that's kind of weird also. Also the color choice for this logo. The color choice is really throwing me off. Um, it's not a bad choice again. Not a bad choice. Is it the best choice? No. This color choice is intentional, I would say. It's pretty close to Fortnite colors, or what were Fortnite colors probably when this logo was being made. Fortnite's changed their colors recently just to kind of make their brand their brand and not everyone use these colors to be related to Fortnite. Which, it goes back to this, this, this logo looks like a kid's logo. It looks like it's targeting kids. Um, which isn't bad, I guess. I guess, you know, we got the, the, the big gaming awards, which those are for, you know, professionals. They want to be more the Oscar type awards. I guess we do need a kid's alternative to it, but is this the right way to do it? I don't know. Uh, if it wanted to be a kid's award, it should just call it a kid's award, not be the players, because then that just leaves a bad mouth in for your audience. Like, I'm a gamer, but I'm not a kid. And that's... That's a little disconnecting. Uh, it feels like whoever made this brief, I don't have the brief, but they wanted a kid's logo for an event for video games without realizing that video games aren't just for kids anymore and there's more games out there that are for kids. So let's get into the type of this logo and this is where it honestly starts to fall apart for me. The, the, the first two fonts are good. They're, they're not offensive again. It's just passable. Um, but these little ornaments that are on the top of the fonts, those I'm not digging. Because I think if it shrinks down too far, you're not going to notice them after a while. And they don't really add anything to it. They don't... If, if you took them off, you wouldn't be missing anything. You would just have a nice type treatment. Um, and the 2018, I think, will also get lost if it gets shrunk down. But does that matter as much as the overall brand? I don't know. I would say the overall brand should matter, and honestly, you shouldn't even date it so that you can keep it unique. Like, if you're making this award and you want it to be a a reoccurring thing, wipe the logo away, and you can reuse some of the stuff that you used for this year again next year. There might not be as much print collateral as you need going into this type of event and this the the. the the landscape we're in now but you know maybe you want to have 
merch and giveaways that are color or that are that award with the logo on it. Um, but I don't know that the dating stuff bothers me. I do it at work, but those are only certain occasions. Um, what really bothers me, and I don't know how this got away, is that the top logo, the top font, and the awards font are not the same. They are not even close to the same. Um, you can look at the R and see that the ornaments aren't the same on it, and they're not the same R. Also with the S, the S is not the same. So these are two completely different fonts. Why would you put two completely different fonts on a logo? You want a logo that has one consistent font, especially for an awards that has this big of a presence that it's gonna be on CBS. Um, this just doesn't feel right to me. It needs to be one consistent font with all the same ornaments on each letter that has an ornament or should have an ornament. If, uh, if you wanted to change something up and use a different font, use a different weight. Use a heavy, use a thin, um, bold, whatever, black, and that'll get you the same, uh, same contrast that you're looking for by using two fonts. But I think that's about it I have for all the critiques on this logo. It's not a bad logo, it's not an offensive logo, it's just an okay logo. For something that's going to be this big with this much production, maybe should be better. Uh, this feels like something that had a lot of people's hands in and just got morphed into be okay. Or maybe was rushed so fast that it had to just be okay. They didn't have enough time to work through the process. They didn't have enough time to play around with ideas and try different stuff. Or maybe someone that just doesn't know their market. That's what also. One of those three things happened with this logo. I just don't know which one it is. Um, but if there's things that you could take away from this, if you're gonna make something similar to this that has, you know, uh, big players in it like Fortnite, like Red Dead, all these games, um, don't mimic colors from one of those games. It just, it looks like you're bandwagging. It's the best word I can come up with that looks like you're bandwagging. Come up with your own unique color. Come up with your own unique shape. The shield logo is okay, but it's not unique in any manner. Um, and that's where it falls apart for me. It's not unique, it's just okay. Um, and always use the same font in a logo um, and use different weights if you want contrast. But that's gonna do it for this one, guys. I hope you learned something. I hope you kinda like this logo critique format. I'm still playing around with it, still trying to get used to it. Uh, if you want your logo critiqued, I'm going to offer the door up to it. I'm going to put an email down in the description. Um, send your logos over there and I'll, if I get any or how many depending I get, I'll maybe make it a reoccurring segment and go from there. Remember, design videos don't come out on Sundays, but come out on Mondays. Um, so get subscribed to that if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.